Hi learners, this video tells us the challenges faced by Netflix in India. It also tells us how they overcome it and their way forward in India. Let me give you a small glimpse on Netflix. Netflix was the world's leading provider of on-demand video. It streams movies and TV series to over 83 million subscribers in more than 190 countries across the globe. The company was founded by Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph on August 29, 1997. Initially, the model of Netflix was an online version of the typical pay-per-rent model, which was actually used by the United States video rental outlets. Netflix started by charging $4 per rental, and postage and late fees were additional. The company soon evolved into a monthly subscription model which actually eliminated the need for late fees and due dates. After months and months of speculation, Netflix was finally launched in India in the early January 2016. It was part of the company's vision to be present in approximately 200 countries by the end of 2016. At the launch event in India, Hastings stated that Netflix was the first to allow binge watching and give consumer control over entertainment. They have also helped consumers discover the value of entertainment on demand. In India, Netflix offered only video streaming service on demand. Now let's see about the content which Netflix has planned to provide India. The Indian version of Netflix was different from that of the United States. Much of the company's original content was available to Netflix Indian users, but the number of Bollywood offerings was limited to only 100 titles. After operating in the country for six months, Netflix announced the production of its first original series in India, based on the famous novel Sacred Games by Vikram Chandra. Netflix also planned to expand its portfolio by including content in regional languages like Bengali, Gujarati, Tamil, Punjabi, and Marathi. The initial response of Indian consumers towards Netflix was not that welcoming. Even though Netflix had not revealed the number of subscribers it had after six months in India, OTT experts agreed that the company had failed to create a tremendous impact on Indian consumers. But still, Netflix remained positive about its future in India because they know from their experience in its early market like US and UK that the trend of streaming video on demand was a relatively new concept in India and it would take a while for Indian consumers to get accustomed to it. And moreover, the technology was there to stay in India for a long time. In the Indian context, there was a great deal for Netflix to learn in terms of consumer preferences, consumer habits, infrastructural issues, and payment systems in India. When we look at the competitors for Netflix in India, by 2016, TV and movie fans in India were watching Hotstar, Arouse Now, Spool, Google Movies, TV Everywhere apps. Netflix would have to make a solid dent in this network in order to penetrate the Indian market. Netflix also incurred substantial cost in promoting itself in India to increase the brand visibility. Such huge spending on promotions had a strong effect on the bottom line of the company. Further, the cost of doing business in a new country like India included that of creating content that would cater to the needs of the local audience, keeping in mind the varied taste among different age groups and populations. The investment also involved the direct cost of partnership with domestic content providers like Sony, Star Plus, and V Channel. Furthermore, let's see the challenges faced by Netflix in India. The challenge number one is internet infrastructure in India. Internet penetration had been consistently increasing in India, but the speed remained an issue for users. India had the slowest broadband connection in Asia Pacific and was far behind the infrastructure that Netflix was able to use in the United States and other Western markets. 
However, Netflix had always been an innovator in video streaming. In order to adapt to India's lack of internet infrastructure, the company introduced a data saving mode in its mobile app. This new feature enabled users to alter the quality of the video streaming depending on the strength and quality of the internet connection. With cellular connections, it also saved data. The second challenge that Netflix had to face in India is content. Content was one of the biggest hurdles Netflix had to overcome in India. Just after the company's Indian launch, it disappointed many subscribers when it offered only 7% of its overall library in India. Adding new content to Netflix Indian library was a slow and gradual process. Even after 6 months, Netflix offered only 916 movies and 368 TV shows across the world on its Indian platform. While in United States, it offered 4042 movies and 1138 TV shows. If Netflix wanted to occupy a bigger share of the market and maintain its initially acquired subscribers, then it had to be swift in embracing the varied local content in India. In this respect, Netflix was lagging behind its major competitors. Many of them are giving a rich and diverse libraries of Indian content. The third challenge is censorship. Censorship was a sensitive issue in India and one that presented a significant challenge for Netflix. The company resisted any temptation to censor the content that it deemed sensitive and instead it gave the users the independence to view the content they saw fit. On this aspect, Netflix provided viewers with all relevant information regarding content including title, ratings by age and a description of the show. Each show was accompanied by a rating guide and an episode synopsis which helped subscribers make viewing decisions. Netflix also offered an optional code system that allowed parents to block certain content from being viewed through their accounts. The fourth challenge is piracy issues. Apart from competing with fellow competitors, Netflix also had to deal with the threat of illegally obtaining pirated video. Despite the international restrictions on piracy, there was still a general acceptance of this activity among Indian viewers. Many of them who did not wish to pay for something they could get for free. This same philosophy also drove the problem of password sharing which involved numerous viewers sharing a single Netflix account in order to bring down the individual cost of subscription. Finally, the fifth challenge is local player competition. Netflix did not have the first mover advantage in the Indian market and faced a stiff competition from local competitors that had a deeper understanding of Indian culture as well as access to a massive catalogue of Bollywood movies, Indian soap operas and live sports. There was an enormous amount of popularized content being consistently churned out by Bollywood and Indian TV. Against this, Netflix found it hard to maintain its value for its subscribers. Even though Netflix did not disclose its user figure by country, analysts estimated that at the end of 2017, it had just over 5 lakh subscribers in India. In terms of Indian content, Netflix had less to offer than its competitors. Yet, in comparison to other streaming service players in India, Netflix offered greater quality and a larger catalogue of international or western content. Therefore, the gradual shift in Indian viewers' preferences towards international content and western culture could work in favour for Netflix. In order to capture further market share in India, Netflix planned to localize itself and produce more original movies and TV series. Going forward, Netflix looked at India as a place where it need huge investment and consistent growth in its market size to ensure long-term profits. Thank you everyone for watching this video. For more such interesting case studies, please subscribe 5 Minutes Learning Channel in YouTube.